Hello there, uh, my name is John Dole. Some of you might know me as uh, Ryan. Right here in Tokyo, Japan. It appears that the CEO of our French-owned Avaria, Mr. Luc Onsel, has made some uh, interesting comments here regarding a nuclear power in Japan. Now, Averia is a kind of a state-owned French company. They are the main supplier of nuclear supplies to Japan, which basically means they're the main supplier of uh, nuclear fuel. Now, you know, recently they shipped over some MOX fuel reactor. MOX fuel for um, some of the reactors here in Japan. Now, Mr. Luke has announced that um, Tokyo plans to restart six reactors by the end of 2013, okay? He also went a little bit further. He wanted to double down on this one, okay? It wasn't enough that he let the cat out of the bag. He had to go further, right? Now, he said that he thinks two-thirds of the reactors will be started within several years. So it appears that the nuclear industry is quite confident that we will again have mass nuclear power here in Japan. Um, but um, I believe that they're forgetting something. All right, They're forgetting one major factor here, which is the people. The ones that actually live here and the ones that actually deal with it. There is overwhelmingly anti-nuclear sentiment here in Japan following um, the multiple melt nuclear meltdowns at Fukushima. Many people still have no faith in this industry and are totally finished with nuclear power. As you know, currently there are only two reactors up and going here in Japan. And as you can see here in my uh, local neighborhood, all of our lights are on and we're not really having any problem with power. All right? So it's a bit misleading from what the industry says and what Shinzo Abe's nationalist government says and what we actually have in material conditions here in Japan. As you can see, we've had almost no zero nuclear power for over two years now. And um, clean electricity, not really a problem, not really an issue. So why these greedy bastards they want to talk about, we need nuclear power, we have no choice. Us who actually live in Japan are not really struggling for energy. And there's not really an energy crisis going on at all. Uh, Japan has supplemented some of its energy through coal. Through the current coal plants are actually going. They're using a process called clean coal. It's not the best option, but it's much better than nuclear, I'll tell you that. And recently, um, two thermal power plants were restarted. That's um, steam from the ground, which here in Japan we have a high abundance of because of volcanic activity. And even then, uh, TEPCO, we was in March, announced that um, they, were, they are highly confident they'll be able to supply ample amounts of uh, electricity this summer, which in the summertime here, and especially in the metro areas, in uh, central and north Japan, we have what we call peak demand. And they're more than confident they're going to be able to reach it. So even the, 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 the slimy companies that are responsible for the problem right now are saying they don't need it. But the nationalist government is pushing to get nuclear power restarted. And these, all these foreign companies you know, are foaming at the mouth to get a piece of the action. And France is in a particular situation, right? They're a major use of nuclear power, and one of their serious exports is nuclear fuel, and nuclear supplies, as they call it. So they depend on Japan to have nuclear power. So that's why they're pushing so hard. And rather than saying, yeah, we're going to have six reactors restarted by the end of the year, and it's going to be all good. And in a few years, we're going to have two-thirds of them restarted. Of course they're going to say this, okay? And we all know Shinzo Abe and his nationalist government is totally behind this. They want it. You know, they dismissed um, almost every anti-nuclear expert from the Energy Policy Board. They're trying to shut down Occupy Tokyo tent down Kashima Gaseki by the uh, lame-ass excuse that they owe rent. 
But that's not true because you have do have squatter rights in Japan. So that case is coming to court very soon. And we're a bit concerned about that one. We'll have to see what happens in the future, okay? You know, and the safety standards come out in July. The, the new revised, 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 revised uh, safety standards come out in July. And he says any plants that pass that inspection is going to be um, restarted. So you see, they're going in the direction the people are actually going against. And their actual energy needs are not matching the direction they're going in. So it's all about profit, money, and greed, okay? So get this video spread around. Of course, thank you so much for being a subscriber and a supporter to everything I do. Um, and more specifically, everything that we do. All right? So until next time, this is me, Ryan, right here in Tokyo, Japan. Checking out.